Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at premium text-to-voice services, such as Eleven Labs and Well Said Labs. We're going to compare them on multiple levels. So let's go ahead and get into this. First, we're going to take a look at the number of stock voices that come with each service and their quality. Eleven Labs comes with a total of nine installed voices. Let's take a look at some of these pre-made voices and see what they sound like. If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always gotten. And then we have a female voice. You cannot find yourself by going into the past. You can find yourself by coming into the present. And then we'll do one more here. We'll say Sam. I allow my intuition to lead my path. So as you can see, they've got some nice voices in there. And one of the things that they do allow is they have these voice settings. So you can change these sliders for stability and clarity. Now what they do is stability adds more emotion to the voice, more range, more randomness. And clarity is the higher the number, the more true it is to the original voice. The lower the number, the more odd the voice can get. So let me give you an example of what that sounds like. So for Adam here, we've got stability. I normally like to set it at about 20%, and I normally set this about 80%. Let's take a look at Adam here. For the voice settings, I'm gonna set stability to 20%, and I'm gonna set the clarity to about 80%. Now, when I click on generate, let's hear what happens. If I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. You can hear some fluctuation in the voice, but one thing that you need to be careful of is this is a random number generator. So every time you click on generate, you're gonna get a different voice. So if I click on if generate If I were again, a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. If I lower this down to say zero, and we click on generate. If I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. As you can see, the way that he says his words is much different. So that's with 11 Labs. There's also one other thing you can do with 11 Labs as far as voices. You can add custom voices. All right, so let's take a listen to the way I sound on here. This is my voice has been uploaded to this. So I've trained one of the voices as me. If I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. Sounds pretty good. Sounds fairly close. I mean, you can play around with it a little bit. So if I change the stability down to say 15 and I generate this, if I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. As you can see, the stability matters a great deal in the quality of the voice that you get. So I, as I said, I'd like to keep it somewhere between 20 and 25. So let's generate that one more time. If I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. So as you can see, some of the words are drawn out. There's a little bit more emotion in the voice. It sounds a little bit more realistic in that way. And one of the side effects is you can put in some actors. So for example, I have here James Earl Jones. I put uploaded a short six minute clip of his voice and trained. I'll show you that in just a second. So let's take a listen to his voice here. If I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. As you can see, it sounds pretty good. Not 100%, but fairly close. Now, the way you do add voices, you click on this add voice button and it comes here to two different options. One instant voice cloning, and this is where you can upload the voice yourself. And then they also have a product, uh, professional cloning, which they would you know, send the voice to them and they would actually create the voice for you. When you click on add instant voice, you give it a name, you upload the file, and then you confirm that you have the rights to that link, to that voice. Now, I highly recommend not uploading any voices that you don't have rights to. The one I used here was just for a sample and will never be heard anywhere in public again. All right, so that's the languages or the voices within 11 labs. Let's go ahead and take a look at well said labs. For well said labs, first thing you need to do is set up a project. So we're just gonna call this test and we're gonna click on that and it comes right into here. Now for 11 labs, you have 24 voices and each voice comes with a couple different styles in most cases. So for example, Ramona here comes with narration and promo, and I'll give you an example of each here. So if I type in, so let's try her out with the narration voice. Generate if voice I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. All right, so that's a narration voice. If you change it over to the promo, 
it's a bit more faster paced, a little bit higher tone. So let's go ahead and give that a listen. If I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. Actually, it doesn't seem to be much difference there at all. But if you want to change voices, it's as simple as clicking on this more avatar button over here. And they show you all the voices that you have access to. And then there's the pro level voices, which are down here. And by clicking on this arrow, you can listen to some of these voices like Sophia. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut. Don't overthink it and allow yourself a little room to play. And then to give us some of the voices up here. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut. Don't overthink it. And allow yourself a little room to play. And we'll do one more. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut. Don't overthink it and allow yourself a little room to play. Okay, so that's a sample of the languages within 11 Labs and Well Said Labs. Well Said Labs does not allow you to create custom voices. So that is one of the downsides for 11 Labs, but they do make up for that by having more stock voices than 11 Labs does. Let's take a look at some of the text-to-speech limitations within both services. In Well Said Labs, you have a limit of 1,000 characters per string that, you know, per text that you type in. And that's roughly equivalent to about 140 words. If you were creating a book, you would have to create text segments that were approximately 1,000 characters. Anything over that, it won't give you. So what Well Labs does is they allow you to go into their editing mode and combine t features. Like for example here, if I go click on these two here and I click on combine, it will allow me to name the clip and then it creates a combined clip of those two. So if you're doing it in segments, you could just line the segments up, put it into one clip and download the whole file. And that is kind of important later on. I'll, I'll explain that when we get to the costing method. Now for 11 labs, when you go in here, you're limited to 5,000 characters, which is about 1400 words. Whereas Well Labs allows you to combine those clips together and download them as a whole, 11 Labs doesn't allow that. You have to download each clip individually and then put them together on your own. If you're using a, a video editor, it's not that hard to do at all. So it's not that big of a plus or minus to either one. But being able to do 140 words in Well Said Labs versus 700 words in 11 Labs, there is some advantage there as far as flow and the amount of time it takes you to generate the text to voice strings. Now let's get on to the most important part for a lot of people here, the cost. Both Well Said Labs and 11 Labs do things very differently. I'll start with Well Said Labs. For Well Said Labs, I'll go into their pricing model here so you can see it. For Well Said Labs, they charge by the download. You can test as many voices as you want. You can try as much different text strings as you want. There's no charge for that. But if you download any of the voice clips, then you're charged. So that is how Well Said Labs works. And for their base thing here, $49, you get 250 downloads and you only get access to 24 of their voices. If you pay for the creative license and up, you get access to 53 of their voices. So there is a bit of a difference between the maker level and the creative level, but at a hundred bucks, roughly a month, that's quite a bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at how 11 Labs does it. For 11 Labs, what they do is they charge by the character. So every time you test a voice, every time you want to hear what something sounds like, they charge you by the character. So for the free version, you get to do 10,000 characters per month. And that's roughly about 1400 words, which for free isn't bad. Let's say you're doing a thousand words. You'd only be able to test it once. So you basically want to test a small sentence, get the voice that you like, and then create your longer uh, voice clips. For $5, they triple that amount and they allow you to start adding custom voices. And then with each upgrade here, they increase dramatically the number of characters per month you get and extra, extra characters are much cheaper the higher you go up the scale. One of the other things to note about the free version is while you have a license to use the voice however you like, they do require attribution to 11labs.io for 
using that language. So if you put this on a YouTube video or TikTok or whatever, they will want you to give them attribution. At any of the paid levels, that's not required. All right, so in conclusion, let's take a look over here at Well Said Labs. Well Said Labs has a ton of great voices that you can choose from, and they only charge by the download. And being charged by download gives you a chance to really fine tune your voices for free. However, on the negative side, voice clips are limited to a thousand characters, and the pricing model is higher. $99 a month if you want access to all our voices than 11 labs. But I think the ability to play around and fine tune voices makes up for it, at least when you're first starting out with a system. On 11 labs, you have a much longer character string length. It goes from 1000 that well said labs has to 5000 even on the lowest tier. And you can have access to all the features for only $5 a month, as opposed to $99 a month on well said labs. The cons, however, is as I mentioned earlier, they charge by the character. So as you can see in my counter here, I've the last three numbers are 325. So 453,325 characters. If I just generate this once. If I were a human, I would like and subscribe to this channel. The number goes down. So that's one of the major cons with 11 labs. Now for me and my use cases, I find though that 11 labs better suits for me because I can play around with voices more. Having a limit of, of the number of stock voices really isn't that big of an issue because typically when you're doing text-to-speech, you pick two or three voices that you like and you stick with those. But both packages, you know, both systems, Well Said Labs and 11 Labs, do produce great sounding voices that you would have be hard pressed to tell if it was a human voice or a machine learned voice. So in any case, that's how I see 11 labs versus well said labs. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please do leave them down in the comments as I always love hearing from you guys. And as always, I wish you a pleasant day. Have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.